Hi guys, this is me coming out of my makeup closet and uh, in a few minutes I'm going to show you how I do look without makeup and how to create this look that I've put together and uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not forcing you to do this, this is just another option if you want to do it. It's my personal choice that I want to put makeup and whatnot. But um, yeah, I also want to tell you please accept your skin and um, never give up on the treatments that you have been working on or if you haven't been working on. I mean, there is always a way. And uh, I just want to tell you that if you have been putting makeup for so long and people have been telling you that, you know, you put too much makeup or like you don't know how to put makeup or whatnot, just please go ahead and do whatever you want. There are no rules to makeup and this video is precisely that. I literally use different makeup brushes for different products and I don't really care. It just gives me the finished product that I like and this is how I'm gonna do it. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get right into it and if you hit that subscribe button, it will it will make my day. And also, um, please do share it with all those people who do have skin problems and it's just giving them another option to look at, you know? And yeah, I just wanna make everyone's life more simpler. So yeah, this is me coming out of the makeup closet. And yeah, this is my unflawlessly flawless skin. So let's get started. And so first, um, yeah, I'm just gonna like, big shout out to this, like, a pan. Honestly guys, well, that's what I wear, right? So yeah, first you have to go in with your sunscreen. This is your best friend. Never forget to use this, okay? Um, so I'm using the La Roche Posse. I really hope I'm saying it right. Um, this is an anti-brilliance and anti-shine sunscreen. It's gonna be really weird, but uh, believe me when I say this, this works. I saw this on Nikki Tutorials. You use the Nivea Aftershave Balm for sensitive skin as your primer. I mean, come on guys, it's like a 200 buck primer. Why wouldn't you want to use it? So basically, this aftershave has glycerin in it, which helps the makeup to stick on your face. So just take very little. So the next step is foundation of these Lotus Eco Stay foundation. They have literally gotten no hype at all online, but it is so amazing and it's about like 600 bucks and it is so pigmented. It gives you full coverage almost. So I bought two shades that are a lot darker than my skin tone. I, the first, the lighter one is called Hazelnut Star and the really dark one is called Almond. So uh, the ratio is going to be 3 to 1. So the lighter one, you're going to put a lot more than the darker one. So like say this much. And this dark one, just tiniest amount. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm not gonna buff this out completely. I'm just gonna put this on my face and let it sit. So when I put this really creamy concealer next, it will just, later on we'll buff it out, okay? So I'm um, just gonna mix this. Here, cover up these freaking planets on my face so this looks really orangey and you're like oh my god you look like the sun took a crap on you but it works so right the star of today's evening is this Doma color concealers I mean, I've been literally using this since I was in, I think, 7th grade. So I will link where these are available. They're available in most metropolitan um, cities in India. But in Bangalore and Chennai, I do know where they're located. So I will put them down in the description box. So first, 
I'm gonna use this shade called DJ5. I'm just gonna take this concealer brush. I cleaned this out like literally two days ago. I've never seen my brushes so clean. You can see how pigmented it is. I mean, for you to com uh, cover your pimples or your scars or hyperpigmentation, molds, whatever, this concealer works like a gem. Back to conceal my eye that doesn't have a pick of two colors. So now there's obviously a discoloration between this side and this side. So what do you do? You take this almost <laughs> Revlon um, color stay and it looks horrible, I know. It's in the shade Natural Tan. This is more my, of my skin tone. So I'm just gonna take this buffing brush, put some on it, actually put a lot on it. Buff this up. I'm gonna use this um, Derma Blend Professional Setting Powder. This powder is really good. Oh my god, I can't tell you how good this is. Um, just gonna put this on the under eye. Yeah, yeah, very softly. Because this product does move a lot. huge blush brush but um, we all know how I use different brushes for different products anyway so I'm just gonna put this on my t-zone especially on the eyes because I crease so much and yes mm -hmm. as you can see almost flawless and yeah now I'm gonna move on to the brows I'm gonna leave the face for some time brows are on my face so you know what I mean the base so um, I'm gonna first take the spoolie and as you can see I have a little white pigment on my brow too so I have to be really careful Then I'm gonna take this Estee Lauder eyeshadow kit which I got for my mom but um Stila anyway um I'm using this flat I hope it's for the eyeshadow thing but whatever I'm gonna take this really dark color just so I'm just gonna take very little I'm gonna show you how much I'm taking just this much Tap it out and I'm gonna just use this on my brows. You can see what I'm doing. See, um, I suck at doing my brows. I've, I don't even groom my brows, I'm not even kidding. So I just use my handy dandy concealer. Use feather touches, okay? Don't go like Rihanna types. Work, 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 work. It's a me, I be work, 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 work. After you look this stupid, you take your spoolie again and you make sure that the product is evenly distributed. Spoolie is such a weird word. Then I'm gonna use this really, really, really thin brush. I take the same um, D5 concealer 
I am literally going to recreate my brows. And both your brows are not supposed to look similar. Please don't do that. You're gonna look like you've actually made them up. I mean, obviously we did, but who needs to know that, right? Alright, so after your brows are on fleek, you go ahead and you can actually set them with a brow gel, but sometimes I just use Vaseline. Oh my god, I totally forgot to put lip balm. Anyways, I'm gonna use this uh Born Lippy from Body Shop, obviously. See, so yeah, I'm gonna get on with the eyes, and I'm using this Lakme 9 to 5 Smoky Glam thing, and I'm gonna use this Revlon, these tiny boxes. This one is Java, and there's this other light shade called. Bone and another really shimmery light shade which is called Sand. Okay, um, so see, brush is 101. This is the really thin brush which I'm going to use for the inner corners. This is kind of a little fatter brush than this, so I'm going to use this for the outer corner. And this is your fluffy brush which you're going to use to blend. I'm going to first put a base which is this, this really white kind of color. I'm going to use the tiny brush I'm going to just see can you see how much I've creased already? It's a real problem. Alright now I'm going to start off with this shade, this coppery. Go in, just and go in with the crease. I'm going to use this shade. I'm going to just this on the inner corners and just work my way up. But this really 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 shimmery shade which was called sand right here. Alright so I'm back and I just put the shimmery shade on the inner corners of my eye. Anyway, and then, uh, yeah, you can add your liner, but I'm gonna just go on and add that on later because I'm so clumsy sometimes. And I'm just gonna get to um, hiding. And I'll be starting to make this upside down triangle shape. you want to be uh, then you're gonna go in with so I'm gonna use this makeup revolution London vivid baked bronzer okay. now this DJ one which is the darkest shade you can possibly get I use this to contour so basically making this jawline even more like giving it a little move basically and this is supposed to have less so that's how it's supposed to go all right i'm just gonna put the eyeliner and i'm gonna be back because i look really stupid while putting eyeliner so weak so hi guys i'm back and i just put some eyeliner and i put some mascara and i'm just gonna go and do the lips I'm gonna use this really, really, really pretty color from L'Oreal and it's in the shade like 135. And yeah. Just really generously put it on. I'm gonna 
Alter. So, yeah, this look is complete. Yeah. Never forget to be confident and always be yourself. If you don't like makeup, don't do it. If other people are telling you that you can't do makeup, please go ahead and do it. And you know, never allow someone else to bully you and stuff. I've been through that and I know how it feels like and I'm always here if you want to talk to me. I will leave all my social media, everything down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.